You are listening to TK's Two Cents, and today we're going to talk about losing followers and staying effective. Let's dive right in with the first tweet. It's better to lose followers than to lose your soul. Don't let your brand become a box that keeps you stuck on topics and talking points that no longer reflect where life is taking you. There is a world of a difference between who you are and what you are known for. Who you are refers to all of the things that you are capable of. It refers to where your life is headed, what you are capable of achieving, what destiny is pulling you towards itself. And what you are known for refers to your reputation, your past. What have you done so far? What do people think of when they see you? Who you are will always be a broader category than what you have done. And sometimes in life, we build a reputation for saying certain kinds of things, behaving in certain kinds of ways. And when life begins to move us in a different direction, we begin to learn new things. We begin to change beliefs. We begin to go through paradigm shifts and so on. We find ourselves having to negotiate with that reputation. Well, people have come to know and love me for being this way, but I now feel called and inspired to move this way. Well, people have known me and come to love me for being the person that's always laughing, but now I want to be more serious. For being the person that's always serious, but now I want to be more laughable. You know, now I want to, now not, I don't want to be laughable, but now I want to laugh more, whatever it may be. And you know, it's always been a challenge for people to give themselves permission to change. Even before social media, there has always been a social cost to the decision to evolve. But now, in this world where every meal, every book that we read, every thought that we have is being tweeted, TikTok, Snapchatted, and everything else, there's a great sense of fear and anxiety often associated with saying something or allowing yourself to be seen in a way that's different from the version of you that comprises your reputation. And if you are ever anxious or stressed out about how you want to live or what you want to say because you're afraid people are going to think this isn't me, that's not who I have always been, then you have allowed your brand to become a box. And my suggestion to you is break out. Don't let your brand become a set of golden handcuffs that imprisons you in a life that you have outgrown. Your brand should be an, a dynamic, ever-evolving extension of yourself. Your brand should follow you. You should not follow your brand. Give yourself permission to be bigger than your brand. Give yourself permission to be more than who you were in the past. And I don't just mean that for the bad things in your past. I mean that for the good things in your past. Look at all of the wonderful things that you have said and done that you are proud of. Look at them with gratitude and be open to the possibility that there is still more to who you are than what you have shown the world thus far. And give yourself permission to go after that. Don't be a slave to your brand. Liberate yourself from the reputation that you have created and give yourself the chance to establish a new pattern, a new future, a new way of being. Hey, why not? Let's go to tweet number two. No one who is effective at all is effective for all. We've heard this underlying thought said by many different people in many different ways. The point is essentially the same. Anyone who seeks to be inspiring to anyone must be willing to accept the fact that they will be boring to someone. Anyone who seeks to be impactful to anyone must be willing to accept the fact that they will be offensive to someone. One of the first things you have to embrace if you want to exercise influence at any level, is that you will not influence everyone. And in fact, if you influence anyone, the nature of that influence will cause someone else to get angry with you, to get annoyed with you, because there is no teacher and there are no messages that will win everyone's heart. No matter what it is you say, no matter how beautifully you say it, no matter who you quote, who you recite, and what skills you develop around communication, you will never change the fundamental fact about the world, and that is people have the right to choose how they will think for themselves. 
And there's such a diverse range of experiences and personality types and beliefs and upbringings and convictions and intuitions and so on that you just have to accept the fact that being effective not only means getting to know that joy and that bliss of making a difference, but being effective also means carrying that burden of having someone else point to you, look at you, and depict you as the poster child of everything that they think is wrong with the world. You can't be the hero in someone else's story without being the villain in another person's story. Are you willing to bear that burden? If so, you're ready to have an impact. You're ready to make a difference. You're ready to take your gifts and share them with the world and serve people to make their lives better, to help them know what it means to live freely. But if you can't bear that, you still got some work to do. And you know what? It's not always easy. It's not even easy for the people that are out there. I, I talked to uh, different influencers. As a matter of fact, I talked to someone just recently who put up this post and I thought it was amazing. And I wrote that person a message and I said, you know, I know you talk about a lot of different things and this may not be what you want to be known for, but what you had to say was so powerful. And whenever you talk about this topic, I think there's a light that shines, man. Like there's something really special. And I just want to encourage you to keep doing more of that. And that person said to me, do you know that I lost 300 followers for that post? That very post that inspired you, do you know that I lost 300 followers for that post? Well, you got to be willing to let people go. You got to be willing to say bye-bye to the people that don't resonate with what you have to say if you want to clear away space for the people that you are going to bless, for the people that you are going to positively impact. You can't, you can't be infatuated with everyone liking you and everyone thinking that you're amazing if you want to make a difference in any one person's life. That's TK's two cents on losing followers and staying effective. For those of you who are listening on the podcast, please subscribe. Please leave a comment. For those listening on YouTube, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. Please leave a comment letting me know your thoughts or what you'd like me to talk about in the future. And please don't hesitate to share this video with a family member or a friend or anyone else out there that you think might benefit from these riffs. Thanks for tuning in. Create a free life in every way you can. Peace.